talk about 702. I'm starting to finally see some pushback of Republicans that want massive reforms. Talk about 702, Senator. There's got to be huge reforms. This is the surveillance apparatus that we, I think, unwisely gave to the FBI and, and, and other agencies after 9-11. The rationale was, well, we got to give these people all new power to listen in on, as it turns out, our conversations. Now, that's not what they're supposed to do. It's supposed to be just for foreigners. But we, we all know, we've seen the reports over years now, the FBI abuses this all the time. They use this authority to not get a warrant, not go to a court, but yet to track Americans and to listen in on Americans. And for my part, the idea that we would just reauthorize this program with no reforms is insane. It's absolutely insane. But Charlie, I can tell you, as we sit here and talk, they are trying to get a, a reauthorization of FISA jammed into the annual defense bill and, and sneaked through Congress right now. That is their plan. And I think it's crazy. We've got to stop this. The uh, Speaker Johnson, to his credit, decided not to do that. Uh, Senator Tom Tillis and others are saying, oh, we'll see. You know, they're going to get it's like a lot of threats going on here. And so, Senator, I want to just emphasize this, that you and I are both OK, obviously, with the government going after terrorists. But why can't they get a warrant under most circumstances, especially in those gray areas? And by the way, based on all of the watchdog reports, 90 percent of this stuff is in gray area, meaning it's an American citizen and they're communicating with someone that might be connected with someone that could be. And yet the, the stuff that is clear as day you and I have no problem with, but there's these abuses and it's abuse of the January 6th defendants. They spied on Tucker Carlson with this. They spied on Donald Trump. When you say this, and by the way, I talked to a lawmaker this weekend and their eyes get really big. I said, why can't you get a warrant? It's as if I'm asking them to like apply for citizenship. I, I don't under, I don't understand the argument. Yeah, here, here's the thing. If you, if the FBI or whomever wants to go listen in to the conversations of foreign nationals who are suspected terrorists, fine. You know, foreign nationals don't get the protection of our constitution. That's right. So exactly. Fine. That's yes. that's totally fine. No problem. Now, if they want to then turn around and say, ah, an American citizen has having a conversation with someone overseas or a foreign national, and therefore I am going to start tracking the American citizen, we have a big problem. The Constitution absolutely applies to American citizens. That's why we have the Constitution. The Bill of Rights applies. So this idea that you can just go around the warrant requirement, that you can just go around the normal court system, because let's remember this FISA process, it's a whole separate court, Charlie, as you know, it's a secret yes. court. If you get targeted in the court, this is what happened to Donald Trump, if you get targeted in that court, you don't get a lawyer. You don't get to appear. You don't get to defend yourself. The government just says, yeah, okay, good enough for us. Go ahead. Listen, listen. go ahead, wiretap. You don't go through the normal requirements. That has got to be changed. And why we would just automatically reauthorize all of this stuff and cross our fingers and hope for better next time is beyond me. It's crazy.